Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure Grafana latest version on Ubuntu 24.04. The process is same on all Ubuntu versions. Open Firefox, then go to Grafana official website. That is grafana.com. We have two methods to install Grafana on Ubuntu. One is by using .debian package and another one by using apt repository. Click on docs, then see here we have the install Grafana. Click on this install Grafana. See here, install Grafana, we have the following supported operating systems. Debian or Ubuntu, Red Hat, Fedora, SUSU, OpenSUSU, Mac OS and Windows. We scroll down, see hardware requirements are minimum, memory is 512, recommended CPU 1 and supported databases are MySQL 3, MySQL 5.7 plus and PostgreSQL 12 plus. Then supported browsers, okay, these are the supported browsers. Click on Debian or Ubuntu. If you scroll down, see we have the first method that is by using apt repository. And second one is by using dot Debian package. You can get the dot Debian package by going to this page. Right click on it, open link in new tab. See here we have the latest version Grafana 11. On Ubuntu, only we need to run these three commands. From apt repository, we have to run these commands like installing apt transport, https, wget, and importing signing key. Then we have to update the packages. This command is for Grafana OSS. This is for Grafana Enterprise. Okay, so either can be the same. I am going to install by using this Debian package. Select the Grafana version and select the edition enterprise or OSS. Okay, I am going with enterprise. Then here we have the operating system. So then here we have to select Linux. For Linux, we have the commands for Ubuntu or Debian and these are for Red Hat or enterprise. But okay, I am going to use. So okay, copy these commands one by one. Copy it, open terminal, paste that command. It is going to add user. It is done. Now download the Grafana Enterprise Debian package. Copy it. Control L to clear screen. Paste it. Hit enter. See, the size is 115 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See, we have successfully downloaded the Debian package. Let us verify ls. See, here we have the Grafana Enterprise. 11 Debian package. Let us install it by running the command. See in the documentation it is clearly given how to install this dot Debian package. So copy it and paste here. Okay. See it is installing Grafana interface 11.0. We have successfully installed Grafana Enterprise. This is the home directory for Grafana and not starting on installation. Please execute following statements to configure Grafana to start automatically using system D. First, run these commands one by one. Run these commands one by one. Paste it, hit enter. Then next command is to enable the Grafana server service. Why we need to enable is whenever Linux server restarts, we need to manually start the Grafana server service. So to avoid that one, we have to run this command. I will show you the status of the Grafana server. Now verify Grafana service. sudo system CDL status Grafana hyphen server dot service and hit enter. See Grafana service is disabled and its status is inactive or dead. Q to quit. Now enable it by running the command sudo systemctl enable grafana hyphen server dot service and hit enter. 
See, it has created symlink. Now verify again the status of Grafana service. See, now it is enabled, but still it is not started. So use this command to start the Grafana service or simply type sudo systemctl start Grafana, give the tab to autofill and hit enter. Now verify again, control L to clear screen, sudo systemctl status grafana hyphen server dot service hit enter c grafana service is running and it is enabled q to kit now connect to grafana dashboard by going to firefox or any browser localhost give the 300 that is the port for grafana and hit enter for first time default username and password is admin and again admin and hit enter. Now we have to change the password. So remember this password to connect to Grafana. And click on submit. Never. Okay. See this is the Grafana home page. If you want to see dashboards click on dashboards. See, we don't have any dashboards to visualize our data. If you want to connect any data sources, click on connections. See, it has loaded all available data sources. Suppose if you want to connect MySQL, search for MySQL. If you want to connect for PostgreSQL, give the PostgreSQL. See, we have the PostgreSQL. Okay. So, first let us see MySQL. Click on MySQL data source. Now, click on add new data source see here this is the name we can we can change the name as well I'm going to keep it as it is scroll down see here here we have to provide like ip or local host or remote host name then port number type of then provide the database name authentication here we have to provide username and password generally it will be the root or if you have created separate user for the grafana you have to provide the username then password okay then other settings after that we have to click on save and test okay this is the way to connect to mysql as data source if you want to connect postgresql click on add new connection then type postgresql see we have the postgresql click on it click on add new data source see the default for here again we have to provide same like mysql after that we have to click on save and test let us try to connect postgresql i am giving same local host because PostgreSQL is installed on, on this PC. 5432 database name R2 schools. If you want to install PostgreSQL on your machine, then go to my channel and search for PostgreSQL installation on Ubuntu 24.04. Then provide the username PostgreSQL. Then provide the password of the user. Then click on save and test. See, database connection OK. OK, we have seen how to connect to PostgreSQL. If you want to stop Grafana, go to terminal. Let us stop it. sudo system ctl stop Grafana hyphen server dot service and hit enter. Now verify again. sudo system. See Grafana service is inactive or dead. Even if you refresh this page, throw unable to connect. See site cannot be reached. So we have to start it sudo systemctl just replace this stop with start we have started the service let us verify the status see grafana service is running so click on reload again then we will be able to connect see we are able to connect to grafana server okay if you want to restart grafana service control l to clear screen sudo systemctl restart grafana iPhone server hit enter it is restarted again if the status see we have restarted grafana service two seconds ago but it won't affect here if you refresh here see we are able to connect so in this video we have seen how to install and configure grafana enterprise server on ubuntu 24.04 for more grafana or linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you